it's Shelby Michelle with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to our channel. We have another home tour. Kathy, my favorite room. This is, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Normally when we walk in, I know what to expect, but I kept venturing back and I was getting surprises and other oh, interesting things. How funny. I feel like it's like a design wonderland. Oh, thank you. So let's, let's tell the story about Kathy. She has a design business and she also has an incredible retail design studio and it's called My Favorite Room and it is my favorite room. Thank and every time you. I say that, Thanks. I'm going to my favorite room, it's my favorite. Oh, <laughs> y'all are sweet. Thank you. Yeah. It really is. So tell us about your, this house, how long you've been here and just kind of the state that you bought it in. Okay. We bought it exactly 12 years ago in, in March, 12 years ago. And when we bought it, it literally was a square box that was painted the color of a banana. So there were no porches, there were no butt outs there. It was just the box. And then within the box, there were lots of very tight, claustrophobic type spaces that were all closed off. So our big goal in the first uh, phase of it was to kind of open and yeah. lighten and brighten. So we've taken, we have a big project about every year and a half or so, we'll do something, take it to the next step. So, but that was the first step is to kind of open the doorways where we could, lighten, brighten, that kind of thing. You achieved it. You did. Thank you. Yes. There's all these incredible case openings throughout the home. And then along with the case openings are these amazing vintage doors that you've rounded up um, from different places, from I'm all sure. Over. And yeah. they're just such a statement. And so there's something to see. And it's incredible. Yeah, they draw you in. They're like, yeah. to the next space. Thank you. So what is this? Is this your formal living? This is formal living. This room over here was, I think at some point, a covered porch that somebody enclosed before we moved in and they were using it kind of as a TV room, but I think originally it was built as a nursery. It's evolved for us through the years and we use it as an office now, but this is main formal. We're actually not in this room that much. We're more casual livers, so we're usually in the back, off the back of the house, so we can get into the backyard okay. and that kind of thing. But this is, yes, this is formal. Well, I love it. So I, I will say, as we drove up, one of the things we're going to have to do is come back and do just a full outdoor tour because oh, an hour uh -oh. because I understand why you want to be close to your outdoor. It is amazing. Your husband's That's, a master gardener. He is a master and gardener. And so stay tuned for that. <laughs> She didn't even, she hasn't even committed. I haven't even committed. <laughs> okay, we'll check with Doug on that. Yeah, no. hey, he would love that. He loves being outside. He loves what he does. He loves creating. So you can, you can tell the love that he's spent yeah, in the totally, yard. Totally, totally. Yeah. Well, yeah. Very time, you can tell some time has been spent outside. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So I want to talk about this powder bath. Okay. Wallpaper on the walls and on the ceiling yes that is such yes. a fun mix of Thank patterns you. do you have tips on choosing wallpapers that coordinate or you know actually though well those came from the same vendor so we could be sure that the dialogues were going to be the same and the colors were going to be the same but typically when we're doing this for another person and another person's house we're trying to figure out personalities, what they're liking, what they want, that kind of thing. For this space, I wanted more serene, kind of soothing. So it was important to kind of get all of those colors very muted and very much the same. But in some people's houses, we might be doing a lot of pattern, a lot of color, yeah. that kind of thing. So it just kind of depends on what we're trying to create. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I love the blues and it Thank definitely you. is serene. I mean, so that the powder bath probably isn't the like a u, tons of use in there but i feel like i'd want to hang out in there a lot oh my yes. goodness it's kind of what i it's kind of my bathroom i let duck take the main bathroom and that's kind of where i get ready in the morning is in this okay. bathroom because i like the, the I look like the space <laughs> yeah I know. I know yes and you do um design work all over you said you've done some homes in florida and i can see because there is a little bit of a coastal 
feel the, with the color, the color palette, palette mm -hmm. that you have the the light blues and the creams and the just it's so sophisticated oh, but yet so you. comfortable well i think i like i think because our lives like everybody's are so hectic during the day when i get home at yeah. night i just want to feel at peace and very serene and that yeah. kind of thing so that you'll see as you got kind of go through the house that's kind of the color palette throughout and everybody has their own aesthetic so but just for me i like the i like the neutrals i like the light i like soothing i like calm yeah so that's, that's just, just me me too you've I've done, done it, it. So let's talk Thank about your you. primary bedroom. Okay. Also, we were talking about serene and peaceful. That is definitely that. You said that wasn't always the primary or what? I think it was oh, because okay. I think originally this house did not have a second floor. I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay. So if that's the case, this would have been like a one bedroom home. Okay. So one bedroom home with one and a half baths and then the, the main living area. So it was a smaller farmhouse when, you know, many, many years ago. Yeah. So it was built in the early 1900s. And so it's evolved, you know, through the years. Yeah. Well, I love, I, it's very spacious for an older home, which I like that because because lots of times you don't have that. It's not huge, but it works for us. And of course, we added that bay window to butt it out a little bit so yeah. we could put some chairs in there and it, mm -hmm. that helped a little bit. Yeah, yeah. it's very um, updated space for an older home. It looks like it would be in a new home because right. it's so well, large and spacious and beautiful. Yeah, it's worked. It works. For, it's worked well. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, let's head to your kitchen. Okay. Breakfast or dining situation. Okay. Very good. Okay, so is this your this is your dining room or you call it breakfast? Or what do you call this it? is dining room. Okay. Again, we don't we kind of hang out in the back of the house. So when it's just Doug and I, we eat in the breakfast room here or in the back room. But when the whole family's here, we're, we're kind of all over the house, but a lot of us congregate in here because yeah. it's kind of the center, pretty much mm -hmm. the center of the house so and it spills off into the backyard so the grandkids can run out there and all of that so it's um it's a good room it is a great room so i'm really interested in these vintage pot lids they're what? meat domes meat so they're so <laughs> okay. you'll see them on both sides and i've collected them through the years but they're there to cover cover and protect the food is okay. really what it have is have you seen anyone else design with meat domes are you um, the first <laughs> no but i kind of like doing things that are not normal i love it i <laughs> love that i love that about this home there are so oh, many just thanks. like shelby said surprises yeah um and then you have this incredible vintage piece here love which yeah. is as a buffet mm -hmm. with this beautiful mirror and um you have a lot of really amazing vignettes yes. oh, everywhere you look you. there's some fun things to see so um yeah i'm gonna you. start collecting meat domes you can <laughs> we'll you can credit. there I you go you, credit. you can do like... whatever you want yes yes yeah. okay so we're gonna talk about the kitchen in a minute but since okay. we're by the stairs i want to talk about upstairs okay because it was magical too you have this little landing with a little sitting area yes so do you use that or primarily grandkids? Are it's playing? primarily the grandkids. So when they all come over, they're upstairs throwing balls down the stairs we and they have, have all this, uh-huh. So it's really for them. I love, I loved creating the space because it's just fun. It's got all the nooks and crannies that you envision yeah. for an older home. And so I love that. So it was really fun to create, but we're not up there that much. So mm -hmm. we're really kind of down here. Yeah, well, yeah. it's really cute. I love the two Thank little you. beds in the uh, other room. Oh, fun. Those are old um, hospital beds from a children's hospital in oh. France. Oh and um i just love those beds so they're not very practical but no, they're sometimes yes but for little grandkids they work great yeah right they're yep. yeah and they're really cute. i've never seen anything like that before oh, mm -hmm. thanks That's very collected and then you have the little nursery yes on the other side and i love the bunny oh the, it's thanks. so cute thank it's you that crib 
new or vintage? It's a new. It's okay. new, and we had it. We had it painted, which I don't think you guys saw on one side. It had a, a fun, just like a nursery scene on one side. It's kind of gone through all the grandkids, even though it's really not used okay. very much. But but it's up there just in case. Need it. Just in case. You never know. You never know when someone's yeah. going to need a nap. Exactly. Yeah, that's how we. we Mom has a crib for my son at her house, but we use the pack and play. So of course, just, I know. That's what we do down yeah. in the master. So yeah. they're close, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, right? I get it. But it's pretty, and sometimes that's priority. Uh, yes, <laughs> pretty is priority. I know, and anybody that knows me really well will tell you that. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not practical at some times, hey. but I enjoy what I do. Yes. So. Hey, you do have a ton of practicality in this house. And I mean, Try. in your kitchen, you can see, but I love that even your dishes and everything, everything's on display. Yes. Even everything, if it's functional. We don't have a lot of storage in the kitchen. The kitchen itself was very much, this was redone maybe eight years ago. Okay. There was literally a small doorway right here that went into it where the windows start over here, that was the end of the house. So it was a very small kitchen. Um, the stairs actually fed down on that corner. So it was just like a small box, not a lot of storage. So when we redid it, we pretty much kept the footprint the same, but we knew because we didn't have storage that we were gonna have to be able to utilize yeah. what we had and so what you see is what we use every day. Yeah. Well, and I love that you you have your range over here. And am I allowed to say that your pantry is in the living room? <laughs> yeah. You can you can say whatever you want to say. Yes. <laughs> well, some people I don't want to expose things. I think it's really cool that you don't have to follow the rules. The I range don't doesn't, follow the rules. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's so awesome because it's functional for you, but it's also pretty. Correct. And I mean this island where is this from you know actually it's from an old store did y'all ever go to el paso down in it was down in dallas years ago i don't know if they're still there the funny thing about this island is when we were redoing the kitchen we had a totally different plan for it and i found the island in the middle of the process and made the contractor totally redo the plan for the kitchen so i'm sure he was not too happy with me but I love the island and I it's thought amazing. we've got to have it. And they actually built the center part of it on the other side of it as a bread warmer. So it's very functional. There's, um, yeah, there's electrical that runs through one of the legs. So it's a super functional piece and we, we love it. That's where everybody kind of hangs out. Yeah. Yes. That's where I would want to hang out. It's so cute. And oh, I love thanks. that. I mean, most people think if it's a vintage piece or something that's found, you can't run the electrical, right. you can't add things right. like that. But if you find the right when contractor. There, yes. When there's a will, there's a way. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. I yeah. love it. Very okay. good. Well, I want to go to my favorite room in your okay. house. <laughs> Thank you. That is, do we call that the living room? I, family yeah. room? Family room? Yes. We'll call it the family room. The most okay. beautiful the, room. Uh, the, I mean, all of the rooms are beautiful, but I'm just... Let's go. Oh, <laughs> thanks. We will. So I'm trying to decide where I want to start in this room. Okay. But I think I want to start with the ceiling because you said you just finished that. We just finished it last week. We were waiting on the wood, which comes from the East Coast. And our son, who was the contractor for this room, found it and located it. And then we had to go through the process of waiting for it and then staining it and then installing it. So it was a process, but well worth the wait. We oh, are goodness. really loving it. And it's called, it's a, it's a little, it's called Pecky Cypress. So Pecky Cypress. yes. And you don't, it's not used much in this part of the country. It's mainly on the East coast, but mm -hmm. I always like that it's kind of a little different, yeah. you know, so, but I love it. Yes. And yeah. what do you call the dome? I just call it a cupola. cupola. So if you go on the outside. Yes, I couldn't think of that Yes, word. there's a okay. cupola and you'll see what they did on this is when we did the extension, we wanted to mimic some of the other elements in the house so it didn't look like it was added on to. Yeah. So you'll see cupolas like over the little greenhouse and potting shed and various parts so that's where that came from but i love that they built the light into it so mm. just one more touch of natural light well i was going to mention that there's not a chandelier in here which we've been seeing a lot less people people with right. just you know can lights instead of right and 
But that is the feature. It draws your eye out. It yeah. does. And the, we talked about a chandelier here, but chose not to. And the reason we chose not to is that we wanted more variety with how we could you know, set the room up where a chandelier yes. wasn't going to control, yeah. you know, the placement of the furniture. So yes, it was a very true. conscientious decision yeah. to not do that, but I'm really glad that we didn't. Okay, so these are French yes. lockers. Yes, they're French lockers. They're French lockers that we got from dear, dear friends of ours who travel all over. We consider them some of our pickers and we love their things. And when we decided to add on to the room, I thought, I need those in this room. I so, need those. <laughs> one houses, so they're recessed back into the wall, and one houses the television and the other's the pantry that we were talking about. And really, it it seems it's functional that it's just directly off the kitchen here and i think it just is such a statement piece i love these french lockers and i they're fun i just I the color snack, i would probably want to sit. you're right here yeah. right if so, you give me a snack i'm gonna want to watch can, a tv show i can provide logic <laughs> anywhere that i need it to exactly. do if, if that's the case so yes Yes. So if that frees you up, like Shelby said, it's very personal, your home. And Thank if you, you want to do something unconventional and it works for you, then do, do it. Do it. And then you have Thank your laundry you. room with, yes, which I think is so cool that the they both have similar colors. But and it's interesting. That was not planned at all. It just kind of happened. And I love that it happened that mm -hmm. way. In fact, I did was not paying attention when we found the doors. But then when I realized how well they went together, that was like an extra bonus. Oh, yes. yes. Amazing. And then you just have cozy furniture. This, yes. this is a perfect place to hang out. This but it is also, our hangout. Yes. And it goes out into the outdoors. You said you keep the windows open. Yes. And just, windows and doors open whenever we can. We, <clears throat> we love being part yeah. of the outside. Yeah. So. I mean, Texas. Yeah, well, on certain months, we love being part yes, of the outside, right? right? Yes. yes. Well, right. I meant July and August out of that. Yes. But, um, but anyway. But you got Texas Spring, which is pretty yes. glorious. So. Yes. So this is, you have a couple really overstated, really large mirrors, which make a huge statement. And this one in the family room is just so incredible. Is that a vintage Find. This is a vintage. It's an old industrial window. I know I've seen some new ones that are reproductions, but this one is an older one. And I just, I love it. I, but I like mirrors. I love just making spaces feel more open and seeing yeah, reflections yeah. and that yeah. kind of thing. You can it's never awesome. go wrong with a mirror. So like this it. space back, what is Yes. That? You know, originally, I think that was another spot in the house that was the back door used to be where that chair is right there. And so I think that that was like a possibly a porch at one point because this area right here that we're talking about was the walkway into the home. Okay. So when we first moved in and it was still that setup, we used that room as a craft room. I had a big table island set up in there for working on any design projects, that kind of thing. But when we added this room on and chose to put the back door there, we actually call it a mud room. Okay. It's not really a mud room. It's a it's a fun mud room. I love it. I've got all my crafts stuck in an old clock box and just set up. But that's the door that we enter, okay. come and go from. So, okay. Mm -hmm. and, okay. Well, I I think we're at our time. I mean, do you have it? Do you? I have so many questions. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's so much more. Goodness, I mean, I'm just like peeking outside oh, and I just... It's fun. We'll take you out there sometime because it's fun. Okay. You'll really enjoy really... the greenhouse and the potting shed and just all the yes. We really the would love that. Created. And um, because it's just when you drive up, it's, it takes your breath away. Oh, and the thank you. I will tell Doug. And the outside. Hard. Thank so you. So we, we would love to have a little um, photo shoot with, with some of the homes. All right. Okay, so I want to tell people where to find you, okay. how they can hire you, and really just how they can admire your work as well. We So our store is called My Favorite Room down on the historic square, McKinney, just a few blocks away. We're on Virginia Street, and um, that re we've been in the retail business now 15 years. 
So we've landed in McKinney. We love it up here. We'd love to have anybody come join us there and, and just visit with the girls that, that run the store. And um, that's how you find us. And that also will connect you into design work if, if, if you're, you're interested. interested. Yeah. But you can follow on Instagram. Don't uh, ask me that. My favorite room. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's longer than that. But I will pop it up. It's my favorite room. KMB, KBM, KBM, KBM. Yeah. Don't, don't ask me any of that because I don't know any of that. That's good. Well, that's mom. mom yeah. Will yes. Be, but okay. we'll pop that up. Okay. Yeah, and I am. I'm going to show some clips of your store because okay. I think what I love about your store is I feel like I am walking into a home. It doesn't no. just feel like a normal retail experience. I feel like I can gather. Oh, I could style this vignette this Dang. way, and mm -hmm. that's very intentional. I mean, we created that where people could walk in and possibly envision themselves in with those pieces in a room yeah. and very intentional with how things are laid out yeah. and that kind of thing where you're not overloaded with a ton of candles or something like that sitting in one place. Yeah. You no, know? there is a large eclectic mix of finds it, it is. and new pieces True. and it's it's amazing. True. Thank you. Yeah. We've had fun. Yeah. We've had fun creating it. Yeah. 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 Fun. We, and I love to every time we go in, I feel like it's there's it's different. It's we change not, it all the time. Yeah. I've yes. never got in and be like, oh this is all the same. This is Yes. We mm -hmm. try really hard to keep it that way. So yeah. yeah. Give you a job. different thank you. Because mm -hmm. yeah. just a different different experience, you know, when you walk in. Yeah. Which is yeah. great. Yeah. So you gotta go check out the store, but you also just need to come to McKinney in general. If you've been following us for any amount of time, you know we have toured I honestly want to say 10, Probably. 15 homes in McKinney. You guys just have the, oh, wow. the creative design it's juice. It's a fun area. Yeah. Fun well, area. Some, lots of good homes. A lot of good homes, a lot of good bones. Mm -hmm. And so if you are blessed to be in a historic district like this one, you can create some really amazing things. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Okay. So close All right. out, Mom. So like, subscribe, share this incredible space with your friends, and then go and like and follow yes. my and favorite home. Yes. Go shopping, y'all. Like, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Sounds great. Bye. Bye. Thank you.